How you doing? I'm Jeffrey Keith with the Aimless News. All right, here we go. Man with the golden bum. Smuggler is caught with two pounds of gold worth $60,000 in his backside after custom officers spotted his unusual walk at Indian Airport. The man was dis detained after traveling on a go air flight from Dubai to Kerala. Custom officials searched the man and found 2.14 pounds stashed in his rectum. No wonder he is walking funny. A second man on the flight was also found to be carrying a large quantity of gold. A smuggler was caught with two pounds of gold worth 46,000 pounds in his bottom after customs officers spotted his unusual walk. Yeah, there's a reason he had an unusual walk. The man was traveling on a Go Air flight from Dubai into Kerala's Kanur Airport and had hidden the stash of gold inside his own body to avoid paying the 18% tax. Totally understandable. It is believed he had been walking awkwardly, and we know why, and was stopped and checked as a result where the gold was discovered. It was discovered. They also shared the images of the metal which had been recovered. Well, now you know why he was walking funny. He had this up his bum. Okay, police said another man on the same flight was stopped from trafficking three pounds of gold in India. However, they did not reveal how he concealed the precious metal. I guess if he had it up the bum, they would have said so. They were the latest in a number of seizures of gold being smuggled into the country from Arabic states. Custom officials said that most people try and bring the gold in by hiding it in chocolate boxes, purses, umbrellas, or other objects like pens. They also caught this month people with gold hidden in toothpaste and one person who had lined their underwear with the precious metal. Earlier this year, custom officials in Kerala found 30 kilograms of gold with a value of 1.47 million pounds hidden in cylindrical locks. Yeah, that don't beat the old hiding it in the bum. All right, let's move on to the next story, shall we? Japan to release treated Fukushima water. Come on now, do what I want. There we go. Japan to release treated Fukushima water into the sea. Media report. Tokyo. Japan will release more than a million tons of treated water from the stricken Fukushima nuclear plant into the sea into a decades-long operation, reports said Friday, despite strong opposition from local fishermen. They probably got a very good point there that cannot be good for the fish. The release of the water, which has been filtered to reduce radioactivity, so they say is likely to start in 2022 at the earliest. Okay. Maybe we'll shut it down by then. The decision ends years of debate over how to dispose of the liquid that includes water used to cool the power station hit by a massive tsunami in 2011. A government panel said earlier this year that releasing water into sea or evaporating it were both realistic options. As of last month, there were 1.23 million tons of wastewater at the facility. Environmental activists have, have expressed strong opposition to the proposals, and fishermen and farmers have voiced fear that consumers will shun seafood, seafood and produce from the region. Understandable. South Korea, which bans imports of seafood from the area, has also repeatedly voiced concern about the environmental impact. Japan's government has been deliberating the issue for more than three years, but a decision becoming urgent as space to store the water, which also includes groundwater and rain that seeps daily into the plant, is running out. They're running out of space. They've got to get rid of this toxic water. Most of the radioactive isotopes have been removed by an extensive filtration process, but one remains called tritium which cannot be removed with existing technology. 
So the hell with it. We'll dump it in the ocean. The expert panel advised in January that discarding the water in the sea was a viable option because the method is also used at normal nuclear reactors. Hey, they do it. Why can't we? Tritium is only harmful to humans in very large doses, you know, like millions of gallons of it, experts say. Always be nervous when the experts tell you something. The International Atomic Energy Agency argues that properly filtered water could be diluted with seawater and safely released into the ocean. So somebody got to these guys and paid them off. The Yomiuri reported that the water would be diluted inside the facility before its release, so it is 40 times less concentrated, with the whole process taking 30 years. <laughs> so someone could spend their whole career just dumping this water into the ocean. The treated water is currently kept in a thousand huge tanks at the Fukushima Daichai site, where reactors went into meltdown nearly a decade ago, after the earthquake triggered tsunami. Why don't they just keep it in the tanks? Plant operator Tupco is building more tanks. Yeah, there you go. But all will be full by mid-2022. Okay, uh, yeah, they should probably not dump that in the ocean. Moving on to our next story, shall we? Let's see. Oh, this one here is about, oops, a police say that a Yakima man arrested after allegedly throwing potatoes at a woman. A man was arrested after police say he looked, locked the woman out of her home and threw potatoes at her despite being under a no-contact order. The incident unfolded Wednesday afternoon when officers were dispatched to the 200 block of North 9th Street in Yakima. As they arrived, the 21-year-old suspect saw the officers and hid behind the fence and then went into the house. The victim told the officers that the suspect was cursing and harassing her and then threw a potato at her, hitting a pillar as she was walking back to her shed. Officers then went to the house and were able to locate the suspect. He was taken into, into custody. He's a potato thrower. Of course he is. The suspect told officers he recently moved back into the house because he was sick and homeless and thought the no-contact order was no longer active. Uh -huh. He also denied throwing potatoes at the woman and said it was she who threw a potato to the ground. The suspect was booked for investigation of violating a no-contact order and felony domestic violence assault. Don't throw potatoes. All right. And finally, this happened. There's a guy up on a statue. I'm going to come down. Oh, oh boy. That's a hard way to come down. Here he is. Come on down off of that statue. Okay, I'm coming down. Uh-oh. Gravity. Gravity. Uh-oh. Gravity. Boom. And that's going to do it for today's edition of the Aimless News. Like this video, subscribe to our channel, and share this video far and wide. Because remember, the Aimless News must be told. <laughs>